We're officially open. In theory, that is. So we were inactive or not open to new placements for almost 18 months. And so I've pondered on it for a little while and I was like, okay, I think we're at a point where we're ready to open. But you can't just call them up and be like, okay, I'm gonna open and here's why. So when you're inactive, there's nobody actively coming out to check your home. So when you have placements or when you're in an active foster home, your CVS worker comes out once a month and just checks the home, make sure everything's okay, make sure everything's in compliance in case you ever were that special one selected by the state to be audited. And I have been one of those special people. Um, so they just make sure everything's in compliance and when there's children in your home, they check on the children. But when you're in active, nobody's coming out to your home. So I had to call up my CVS worker and say, hey, I think we're ready. Actually, she texted me and I text back and said, okay. So I um, had to schedule a time with her for her to come and check out the home. She went through my home, checked everything. There was one thing we have to fix and we'll get to that later, um, but everything else was fine. We've done our inspection as far as the CVS worker coming out. However, we were due for a fire inspection and a health inspection. You do it once a year and mine always falls in March. So since I have to do a lot of prep before my home is officially open, I decided to bring you along with me. Everything that's involved in making sure your home is um, up to code, so to say, for foster placements. So I'm gonna start with my notebook. This is like my Bible for foster care. This has my licensing paperwork. This has my inspections each month as far as the CVS workers coming out and doing their routine visits or their pop-up visits. It also has my certificates, any and everything, any paperwork on children, this holds it all. It is very cluttered because it has everything for the last almost three years, which at this point I could take everything out except for like the walkthroughs from the CVS workers, but anything in regards to a kid, I can take out because all the kids are out of my home. They've been out of my home for over a year or I adopted that child. And so that paperwork is mine and I can do with it what I want. I do want to say everything in here, as far as your monthly paperwork you send to the CVS worker on the kids in your care, you do have to keep monthly notes that you turn in. Um, you keep a copy and they have a copy just in case they don't have it or they say they can't find it. Always keep your copy. So you have your license and then you have inspections or um, anything that you have to do for your home to keep it up to date. The next one is your agreements, your TB tests, things like that. Next, you have all of your trainings and everything that you have to do each year. Some trainings are annual, some are uh, every two years. Here is the documents for my quarterly assessment. After that, you start dividing it up by each child in your home. So each child gets a tab and you put all of their paperwork inside. So next I have my list of trainings and inspections and anything that I have to do. My worker is nice enough to print everything up with the due dates or the date that like it expires and she sends it to me. So I printed that out. And then I also have the different things that I need to scan and give to her. I have my fire inspection where the fire department came out and inspected my home. They also check your fire extinguisher. Okay guys, so I quickly want to just take you around with me and show you some of the things that the fire department and the health um, department come out and check for. Now, just note that the health department does charge you $50 every year to do this, but the fire department is um, free. It's a courtesy and they just come out. So of course, fire department checks for your smoke detectors, your fire extinguisher, any um, fire code violations. Now, I will say that this little thing behind me, they do not like, at least the person that came out and did mine, it's not a violation. He just said that he saw a lot of people start their stoves with that on top. Um, mine is definitely decoration. It was a housewarming gift and I don't cook that much. So he said I didn't have to take it off. So there's that. He also checks my fire extinguishers. We also check your fire extinguisher. Like I said, mine is tagged. It says 2022 20, right here. And then it tells you on the tag what month you need to get it done. So I just take this out every time, show them and put it back in the pantry. 
So that's the fire department. Now, the health department, they come out, they make sure you have hot water and a towels for everyone. They make sure all your chemicals are locked away. So I actually keep my chemicals here. All my cleaning products are down here. I also have my lock box for medicine and then my other box for medicine. Everything stays locked under here. And I like to get these um, and all you do is when you open it, as you can see, it won't open all the way, but if you just push down on the thing, it'll open. I used to have the ones with the magnet. I'll show you the magnet. When we um, were living in our other home, we used these and this is a magnet and you just put it against the door and it opens. The problem with that is that my cabinets in my new home were too thick. So I still have these, but I can't use these. And I literally have these locks everywhere in both bathrooms like everywhere there's a cabinet there's a lot and it's mostly because my child won't stay out so since we're over here i'll show you what's over here this is some of the things that the worker was looking for so you have to have this up this is my rights while i'm in foster care and they give it to you in english and in spanish um she didn't have a spanish copy to give me so she's going to bring it back also the um but um i can't say this so this is also something you're supposed to have on display in case a child in care feels like that they are unsafe or they need to report something. So this is displayed on the side of our fridge. We also have our fire escape plan that we keep on the fridge and our license for foster care. On this side, this doesn't typically live here, but my mom was here when the health department came out and so they just put it up here. So this is the new one that I'm gonna have to put in my binder after I send my pictures to her of everything that she needs. Okay guys, so we're in the bathroom now because one of the things that I was um, not in compliance on, so to say, was my trash cans. Now, as you can see, I like to keep these cutesy little trash cans that go with my bathroom decor. However, um, the trash cans are supposed to have lids on them. And initially, they only would say that for the kitchen trash, which I just believe should have a lid anyways. But none of my bathrooms have trash cans with lids. So I actually have to um, go out and get trash cans with lids. And that is a harder task than you would think because everywhere I went, I went to a plethora of stores and they all have cutesy little trash cans with no lids. Now they do have the ones where you step on them, but anybody with a kid knows that those are just things that are waiting to be broken in your home because they wanna keep stepping on it and keep stepping on it until they break it. And I personally just don't like trash cans with lids on them because um, people put things in them and everyone has to keep touching the same lid. And I've also had children in my home who, um, in their homes, when they poop, they um, put the toilet paper in the trash can instead of the toilet. And so the thought of them just putting that in and touching the, touching the, touching the lid with it, it really like, it, because then you never know and then you put your hand like while you're trying to stuff stuff in there anyways i'm gonna switch out the trash cans but i'm not looking for anything expensive because i like my decor and while my home was um not opened i put my trash cans back i did leave the clothes trash can in my little's room because i thought that's the only place that needed one i was wrong so um i'm gonna be looking for trash cans to replace all of my trash cans Okay, so you're probably wondering what kind of trainings you have to do for foster care. So I am going to tell you some of the things that you might be expected to do when you become a foster parent. So there are some agreements that you have to sign, just different foster parent agreements, the agreement about um, your right, the rights and responsibilities of the parents and the children. You have to sign the foster care and adoption discipline acknowledgement, the disaster plan and the foster and adoption minimum standards and policy. So these are things you actually have to sign every year. So on my paper, I have the dates when they're due again. And most of mine is not due until the summer, which is awesome. And then you have the quarterly visits, which you sign every quarter. And they go over this long list of um, just 
things you need to know so it's not like you have to memorize these things and like commit them to memory they're gonna go over it with you so if there's something you forget or you know you're like well what was that again they're gonna tell you so some other things you have to make sure you keep up with is your car insurance um, you have to send that to them every time you get your um, new card in the mail or however you get your insurance pets and you have to make sure you keep up with their vaccinations and you send that information to your CVS worker and then everyone in your home has to be TB tested, even the children that come in your home. So your TB test, after you do it, you just keep it on file. So the training. So everybody that is in the home and is a foster parent has to have CPR and first aid for infants and children. Um, pride training is something you do before you even become the foster parent. It's the training you go through to become the foster parent. Um, and then some of the annual trainings that you have to do, you have to do the disaster training, the behavior intervention training, which they said they're changing it this year and calling it something else. Mine is actually due um, here in April, and this is April 1st, so they'll be sending me that soon. You have to do the psychotropic medications, communicable diseases, trauma-informed medical consent, sexual abuse, reporting abuse and neglect, normalcy, water safety, and serious incident reporting. And then there's an elective three hours. I chose to do the grief and loss of a foster placement this year for my hours. Um, and so that's most of the trainings. Like I said, they've added a whole lot of trainings this year. It was ridiculous. They got some um, things that they needed to do and um, the state decided that they needed to add some training. So we had lots of training. I'm actually all caught up. I'm going to take pictures of all the things that my worker needs from me. And it's all the trainings that I did through May, my fire inspection, health inspection, um, and I've already sent her my insurance. So these are the things that I'm going to take pictures of. I use my app and I have a tab specifically for foster care paperwork and I just go in and I click on the camera and I click on scan document so that it actually turns it into a PDF and then I just go in and I snap everything that I need to send to her and I do this with my monthly paperwork as well. And it turns it into a lovely PDF and you can just scan multiple ones and send it to them. Okay, so I am going to actually clean out my son's room. Um, right now it's just like a play area for him and occasionally he sleeps in there um in the bed especially like during nap time and stuff but it's mostly his play area i'm not in a hurry to switch out that room because i don't have um any kids coming yet i don't know what age i don't know if it's a boy or girl i don't really want to switch up the room but one thing i did have to get while i was at the store was a new um mattress cover one of the requirements is to have mattress covers on all the beds in your home and actually all my beds do have mattress covers but the mattress cover tore recently on the twin bed that's in the room that my son is sleeping on and i don't really want to switch off the other mattress because i took that bed down i had two beds this is how the room originally looked um and so that bed is like pulled into the guest room and i really just don't feel like switching them plus it just needs one so i got another mattress cover and last but not least I am going to clean out this room in this closet just to make it a little less cluttered and a little bit less difficult to set up whenever I do get a phone call. So I'm not gonna go crazy and change it too much, um, but I am just going to organize it a little better because when my last little left, this just became the play area um, and like all my son's clothes are in here and they most likely will share this room. So I need to clean it out, organize it and make it a little more, um, you know, organized did i already say that okay so there's no light in this closet so it's gonna be really hard to see so this hamper was actually um just used for like extra blankets and knickknacks this shoe rack was my last littles she put this together herself and there's a lot of shoes things that they didn't want to take or shoes that i bought that were too big or got too little that they left behind so it's just extra stuff i have a bunch of car seats i actually keep all of my car seats because my mom helps me with pickup. Um, this side is mostly like my son's stuff and his clothes and his clothes in here. 
these are old baby toys that we need to give away we've already kind of started sorting out his old stuff this is my little my little's old hamper she had a unicorn room um and just like summertime stuff that we need to kind of clean out organize and probably just put in the garage since it's summer stuff um these are the original pillows that were on the bed that you saw in that picture i just put them up here so my son didn't mess them up in case a little girl did come and she still wanted the pink and unicorn theme i also still have some more booster seats and car seats we had three of these three or four of these kind and three of these kind because like I said my mom helped with pickup and we were always riding in three different cars so we wanted to make sure and at one point we had two children using these um at the same time so I think there's one back there too yep a pink one and then as you can see I still have some of my little's clothes she grew out of this stuff so quickly and only got to wear some of it like once or twice like this was a pink a yellow little Easter dress and so if I get another little girl I have some stuff to start with and then we can take her shopping and I had a lot of cute little statement pieces that I just didn't want to get rid of something that's really good to have is coats so when they grew out of them I kept them in case another little comes and she needs to take a coat and maybe even take it home so she has that and then cute little pieces that I found here and there this little fur jacket I thought was so cute as long as well as this little red jacket and just some more stuff back here from my previous littles that they didn't want or couldn't fit anymore definitely gonna have to move this playpen out of here it has become a catch-all for all toys and junk and then I'm going to have to reorganize this shelf because my son has made it into his own um, and things were organized in here so any of the dress up stuff that they were playing with I left in there um, the play food the play the plates and spoons are somewhere so if I get a child who's bigger that wants to play with that I'll have to pull them back out and then this just became a catch-all for electronics books I'm gonna have to get um, like a toy bin to put some to organize some of these toys because Right now, this room is definitely not organized. And eventually, I'm going to repaint the wall that the children tore up. Okay guys, so we are now in the guest room. So one of the things I said in my things to know before you foster was it's a good idea to save clothes or buy clothes when you find them really cheap. Um, just along the way, little knickknacks, little baby items. So I have lots of those items. So we were actually just gonna have a garage sale because I was unsure if I was going to open my home back up. Um, but I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff I had and I'm actually gonna go through this, keep a few items to, you know, for ages like zero to six, boys and girls of what I have and then get rid of the rest. So this is just a bag of a lot. When I say a lot, a lot of clothes, a lot of clothes that were donated to us or given to us or that I bought along the way. And it is various sizes. I even kept uniform pants because the school that um, my last little went to, they actually decided to become a uniform school. So we have uniform pants. And I also give stuff away too. Um, if you have an emergency placement that comes with nothing and then they go to another foster home with nothing, it's just a good idea to have a lot of stuff for them to pick through, to take with them, especially when you don't know how long they're gonna be with you. Um, baby items that my son keeps coming and trying to steal back. These are more clothes, but mostly baby items from my son more items in here and I have like two tubs like this here is another bag of clothes and they're actually different seasons so as you can see there's still tags on some of this stuff because I just like to have options and you know you might not be able to get to the store that night but you want the child to be able to go through and find something that fits them I also have an extra luggage um my last little did not want to take it with her so I just kept it and there's some more clothes in there Another baby item that we no longer use. I'm not sure what age we're gonna get yet, so I haven't gotten rid of it. And then here's where the other bed is that I said. So if, if for some reason I have to take in two children, then I have this extra bed that I can just easily put back in the other room. Okay guys, so it is day two of this prepping my house kind of behind the scenes and seeing what I'm doing to get ready because I didn't find trash cans yesterday. I was trying to make it a one day project and it just wasn't happening. So I'm at the store right now. There's a store outside my um, neighborhood 
and it's family dollar and dollar tree together and it's brand new so i'm hoping maybe they have something the other ones don't have and it's so far out that nobody probably would come out here unless they live out here so i'm gonna check here and if not i'm gonna go to ross and my mom has um sorry the sun is so bright and my mom is gonna go to um tj maxx because she wanted to go in there and look for something so she's gonna tackle tj maxx i'm gonna tackle um ross and see if we can find anything and then yesterday it just kind of went through and did some cleaning um and i'm going to prep the bed and um finish going through the clothes and stuff i decided not to go through too many of the clothes and toys unless they were just broken or stuff like that because i don't know what age i'm gonna get i don't know if it's gonna be boy or girl so i kind of just want to wait but i am gonna organize it so that's what we're doing today trying to show them the trash cans and you're in the way. Yeah, I know I'm trying to show them the trash cans and you, you won't let me. Okay, so Target to the rescue. So they have these two on clearance. One was five, one was seven. And so I'm gonna put this one in the guest bathroom. This one probably in my bathroom. Careful. Let's play again. Um, this brown one, my mom had extra, so I'm gonna put this one probably in my room, because I need one in my room. And then we already have the silver one back there. So we got the trash cans situated. Oh. It was definitely a long day just looking for trash cans. Of course we did other things, but Thinks the trash cans are his drums. <laughs> 